Hello. Um, I, I will going to start the discussion for today. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, as as I posted on the cacao cacao talk, then I have a today I have uh, two discussion topic. One is a, a small topic, and one is a, a broad topic. The first topic is about that why cargo ships are mostly designed as a monohull. So first of all, I am going to talking about the catamaran as we run two days be two days before that the multi hull watercraft featuring a two parallel hulls, and I found out that the catamaran have some advantages such as small smaller displacement or smaller hydraulic resistance and require less pro pro pressure power. So I just I'm just wonder that why are the large cargo ship are not designed as catamaran despite this advantage. And I think this I think my the professor may know the answer but it is good to discuss with each other to have a have a find a good good guess about it. So does someone have an idea about this problem? Um, I think it's mainly because uh, for a catamaran, a large part of the hull, like the part that is under the water is taken away, right? So that is taking away a lot of cargo space that you could have used. So if you were to make a catamaran style cargo ship, a lot of the cargo would have to be stored above the water line and that would make the ship much more unstable. So I think that's probably the reason for the problems. And also maybe if I can add to what Arif say. Um, if you can see like in the above picture, Katamaran, I think just only a small part of the ship is under the water. So that means less volume of water is going to be replaced. That means it, it's going to support only like small number of weight. And usually catamaran ships are for, I think for, for entertainment or people like cruising on the ship, but cargo ships, they have to support like a big, like a large number of stuff. So I, I don't think it's going to support that much weight if it's just like a small, a small volume of water replaced, displaced. I think, uh, I think uh, there are some reasons for uh, that uh, large cargo ships mostly designed as monohull. Uh, since there are two mono monohulls with, with a, a large aspect area, so uh, the catamaran ship, uh, oh, the catamaran ship uh, has a uh, better bad uh, turning ability oh. and, and uh, it, it has a oh, and, uh, if the deck air area is uh, increased over a certain limit then uh, it can be a uh, some it, it could be a uh, some problem in terms of uh, uh, in terms of her structure uh, strength or capacity and and basically uh, it is needed to uh, make two holes so uh, surface area is large so uh, 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 it is uh, needless to avoid avoid to uh, material cost is so high high I was thought that it is very hard to make a big ship like Kataman shape because it has so many curves and so many shallow things. And after I listen about Adiv and Bracket, and I agree with their ideas more.
I changed my mind because the shape makes low cargo. Thank you for the ideas you gave, and I as I searched uh, as I searched that there is also the problem. So that large we have a problem by I go to the Panama canals or. Suez Canal, Suez, Suez Canal is the Egypt. Yeah, Suez, yeah. Uh, Suez Canal. So, it it is not, it is not profitable for the car. The car cargo company they say. Oh, really? <laughs> Suez Canal was broke. It's blocked by a big, I think, Taiwan ship for two days. Uh, if all, all of you, you don't have more, more things to talk about this discussion, then I will Go to the next top next topic. Okay. Okay. So is the next topic is some of the broad topics that to make a ship green. I I get I inspired this idea from from the Broadcast lecture of lecture about the heart form deformation. He gave uh, gave us a lecture. In his lecture, he gave us about some green ship concept. So I just want to talk more about that idea. And I I thought about that why the the problem of the ship is. Pollution is that they say there is some atmospheric pollution, such as greenhouse gases or that conventional pollutant. So the conventional pollutant includes the sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide things, and the greenhouse emission is of the CO two and methane things, and they and the People want, such as Europe, European Union, wants to regulate regulate the CO two emission CO two emission in forty percent by two thousand fifty. So I think it is necessary to think about the make the ship how to make a ship greener by reducing the ship's pollution. This is this is a broad topic but I think it is important to important us to think about it. I think one way to make ships cleaner could be to use nuclear power. But uh, the thing with nuclear power is like, uh, like I'm a huge supporter of nuclear okay, by the way can you hear me? Yes I can hear you very well. Okay, um, so the thing, like, uh, I'm a huge supporter of nuclear power, but say even if, like, there is a 0 0.0001% chance of there being a, an accident with the number of ships, we have, like, we have, like, thousands and thousands of ships going around, right? So that kind of in, uh, increases the risk, and at that moment, the risk, 
is no longer insignificant. So that's one thing to think about. But again, like given the uh, new generation, uh, like I think it's called generation three plus of nuclear reactors. I think this issue can be solved. That could be one uh, way. Another thing, another way could be, um, I, I might be wrong, but I think in modern day, we don't really use sail, like wind energy to sail, like to move ship, right? So what if like, uh, you know, like, uh, during uh, when, like, for example, when the ship is coasting, at that moment, we could just bring some sails up and then, you know, save some uh, fuel at that time. That, like, I think over a large stretch and uh, multiplied over thousands and thousands of ships, that could, like, even if it's, it's like a 5% increase or like even 1% increase, that is still a significant amount. Of that. So, so that could be another way. And I have uh, another idea that uh, make an electrical ship. I don't know if it is possible, but in the sea, we can make generate electric like from waves or from wind. So I think if battery runs out, then do some make some electric using wind and waves then recharge it and go and keep doing like that, then we can make environment friendly. I'm not sure. Uh, I think uh, we can reduce the sex pollution according to the uh, terms, short term, mid term, uh, long term. In short, short term, uh, uh, reducing uh, pollutants from fossil fuel gases. Uh, for example, uh, optimizing the uh, fuel efficient operation operation route and uh, develop developing a, a pollutant uh, collection devices. For example, uh, SCI system uh, that is uh, selective cat, uh, catalytic reduction. It is uh, it is for uh, reducing uh, it is reducing the NOx and in addition scrubber. It is uh, it, it is device 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 that uh, reducing the uh, SOx tax. And in these days, uh, uh, LNG fuel ship uh, could be an um, alternative. And, uh, and mid term and long term, uh, I think uh, uh, it is needed to develop uh, other uh, alternative fuel, uh, for example, ammonia and uh, hydrogen. And, in terms of long term, uh, uh, finally, we need to develop uh, uh, pollution uh, pol pollution free emission technology. For example, our uh, electric city uh, ship uh, and other new concept per per ship. Uh, and, and we 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 should uh. uh develop on char charging technology. For example, uh, solar power and wave power and wind power and uh, etc. Hmm. To add to Song Min's point, I think uh, there should also be a lot more research into new battery technology as with current battery technology of uh, lithium ion batteries, it's very heavy. And to sustainably run uh, a large ship for any 
a usable period of time, it will take up a lot of space and weight, which might reduce cargo and might increase the cost of uh, cost of operation. So I think alongside what Songin said, uh, uh, research into uh, a new battery technology would also help in the long term goal. Okay, maybe also another another method maybe as as most have suggested. I think the main method should be like changing the energy source for the ship itself, uh, coming up with using an alternative energy source as Ali suggested. I think nuclear energy would be the best first because like its ships are really big, so it's much easier to get that much that much energy from from nuclear power. Um, I wonder why most industry, like the ship industry, has not mm, gone for that option. Uh, I'm not sure. But another method would be maybe managing ports like in a better way. So the as more and more ships are traveling around the world, like it's congestion and a lot like would be like a lot. Mm, so building mm, ports is going to take to have it to, its own toll in environment as it's going to take a large amount of area, maybe like making that process efficient would also decrease the, what amount of emission from from that and it would ultimately like result in a better a better management of yeah, energy. All right, it's almost time. So, can you close down this discussion session? Summarize and close, please. Your mic is yeah. Okay. For for this discussion, we discussed something about the ship hulls by the catamaran, and and there there is. There receive some good good reasons for why the catamaran can cannot use for the large cargo ship, and for the second discussion, uh, gives a nice nice idea for the make a new generation green green ships. Uh, I hope that discussion helps help for our us to understand this class more. Thank you for this question. Thank you very much. It was very nice as the first discussion session. Good, good, good discussions. Live and many participations. And I heard uh, during your discussion, my answer probably can be like, uh, for the catamaran, yeah, weight, weight is the most important reason. So that catamaran is used uh, for uh, light cargoes, some such as uh, passenger ships, okay, and also uh, ferries. Okay. Because if we if you load a uh, heavy cargo, the draft should be big because the water plane area is small comparing to the mono. Uh, about the pollution, probably we can divide into two groups. One is direct pollution from ship, and another one is indirect pollution from the ship. Direct means I can say oil spill coming from the ship. The oil tanker can break, have a hole, so the oil is coming out from the ship. That we can say direct pollution. Indirect pollution can be the gas, it could just gas coming from the engine. Okay? So you have a very good, nice discussion. Good, I am happy. All right, then you can close this class today and then see you on next Tuesday. Oh, any question? Yeah, questions? No, no. All right, then bye now. Okay, bye.
Thank you.